What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a deep dive into banner overlays and how to add banner overlays to certain sections and how to take away banner overlays from certain sections as well. All right, let's jump right into it. So the banner overlays, uh, you can find it in your site styles by going to uh, home, your home panel and then clicking design, site styles. And then when you click on your banner image, then uh, it's under main overlay and it's this overlay color right here. So you can click on here and you can change to whatever color you want the banner overlay to be. Then you can also determine the opacity of the overlay as well. So really helpful for when you have a light image and you have lighter text on it. You can add a darker banner overlay and it just helps your text stand out from the image a little bit. So uh, in this case, it looks really good on this section, but what if we want to add a specific color to a specific section? So obviously this banner overlay is going to affect uh, all banners on the site. So what if we want to change the color for only this one section? Well, let's go to our custom CSS. I'll just drop that down. So let's look at how the banner overlay is being added. So if I right click on that index section, uh, here you can see this section is called hero section. And then if uh, I toggle open that section, we have the index page content and then we have the index page image. And if I toggle open this index page image, you can see there's this before pseudo element. And this before pseudo element you can see has the background color. It's this kind of gray color and it has a 46% opacity. So if I toggle that off, you can see that we lose the banner overlay for this section. So I can toggle it on and toggle it off. So that's how they're adding that banner overlay. They're adding it with this pseudo before pseudo element. And they're just telling it to span the full 100% width and height of this section. And then they're adding a tr slightly transparent color to it. So that's how they're adding it. So what we can do, I'm just gonna copy this CSS and again, so we only want to change it for this section. So we can use the section ID, which is hero dash section to limit our CSS only to this one section. So we target IDs with a hashtag. So hashtag hero uh, section dash hero. And then I'll open up some curly brackets. And within this section, I'm then going to paste that dot index page image uh, CSS. So now, since all of this styling is already uh, being declared by Squarespace, we don't need it. The only CSS that we need is whatever we're gonna change. So in this case, we only need the background color because that's the only thing that we're changing. So uh, I can change any of these values now. Um, I'll make it like a white overlay. Uh, I think I messed up the ID for this section. Oh yeah, I, I did it backwards. Okay, it's hero dash section. So just make sure you get your section ID correct. There we go. So now I can add any color that I want to and it's only going to affect that one section. And again, we're in the brine template. Um, so I, that's pretty much the only template that I design websites in. So if you're in a different template, uh, it might be different, but again, this is how they add it uh, for the brine template. Okay, so now you can put in whatever RGB value that you want, and then you can select the opacity. So if I want it to be really faint, then I'll give it a 20% opacity. Uh, if I wanted it to be really strong, obviously I could give it something higher, like a 90% opacity. So perfect. So that's how we can change the color for one index section. And let's say we want to take it away. We don't want it on a particular index section. All I have to do is change its value to transparent. So now we get the default on all the other index sections except for this one. 
So that is how you can change the color for one particular section and also how you can take away the overlay for, for a particular section as well. And let's say I wanna do this for a bunch of sections. Well, all I have to do now is separate my sections with a comma and then this CSS will apply to all of the sections that you put. So I have another section here that I wanna take away the overlay for. It's ID is family section. So I'm gonna separate it with a comma and then I'm gonna target it with a hashtag. And now I've taken it away for both of these sections specifically, but all the other section uh, overlay sections on the website are gonna have that banner overlay. All right, guys, it was a very quick one today, but hopefully that makes sense. Uh, Squarespace is adding the overlay with this before pseudo element. So what we can do is just change the color for particular sections that we want. All right, guys, that's it for today. Keep creating awesome Squarespace websites. I'll see you in the next one.